Hi Mia, welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, welcome. My name is Jesenia, good to have you. In today's occasion, I'll be showing you how to make capirota. Nice and easy, actually. And all you're gonna need are the ingredients is picture here. I have two cups of water, sprinkles, and the shredded coconut. Also here I have a mix of peanuts, almonds, and raisins. Not big on raisins, but for the purpose of this video, I'm showing you uh, all the possible ingredients. Um, in addition to that, you'll be needing just one stick of unsalted butter, one cinnamon stick, one piloncillo, and one banana. Banana is optional. And here I did already cut up three bolillos in this thickness here. But you can definitely add different toppings of your choice. Some folks do add in cotija cheese or uh, queso fresco. Um, also pecans is an option. So it's just something to think about. But since I went ahead and sliced my bolillos already, what I'm going to do is melt the butter and then go ahead and lay my bolillo pieces right on this pan to go ahead and toast for about 12 to 15 minutes. Okay, I'm you guys. I went ahead and melted the unsalted stick of butter. And what I'm going to do is just go ahead and lay just a little of this butter right on my baking sheet here. And then I'm just going to lay my bolillo pieces. The alternative to this is just lathering the actual piece of bread on each side and then set them out and then of course just coat them right in the stove but I'm doing it this way where I'm just going to bake it 12 to 15 minutes but you're welcome to go ahead and just lay this butter right on each side like that and then allow them to sit on the stove until they become brown in color but for now i'm just going to do this for the purpose of the video and it's also quicker to do it this way so it's whatever works for you so i'm going to set these in the oven to bake for just 12 to 15 minutes until just uh we get a golden brown color okay you just want to lather the butter on the other side and then we'll be all set to go ahead and bake this if you can't find the bolillo bread in your local supermarket you're free to use that crispier bread that's already comes in pieces you can do that also and that may save you some time but i do have the oven preheated at 350 degrees and again i'll be baking this just 12 to 15 minutes just as soon as i get that golden color that i'm going for okay i mean guys while we wait for our bread to toast the next step is just going ahead and boiling the two cups of water along with the stick of cinnamon and the piloncillo so i'm just going to let that sit there and until it all comes to a liquid form okay guys so as you can see the piloncillo did break already so you just want to keep an eye on it and just stir occasionally and again i do have this set at medium high heat so as you can see, the piloncillo has fully dissolved. I'm just going to go ahead and set it aside and allow it to cool down a little bit. Okay, amigas, so I did go ahead and bake my bolillo pieces there for about 15 minutes. So I'm ready to go ahead and set them right in this pan here. Of course, we want to layer them. So I'm just going to begin by using the last bit of butter that I used to lay over that baking sheet and I'm just going to spread it all the way around my baking pan here. Okay, now I'm just going to grab each piece of my bolillo and just layer it 
uh, right in this dish here. And then we're going to proceed by coating it with piloncillo and then coating it with our toppings here and repeating the process. I'm just laying a piloncillo syrup all over, just like this. Okay, next you just want to grab your toppings. And just layer them all the way across here. Again, the bananas are optional, uh, but that's something that I definitely like to add to mine. The toppings are endless with this type of dessert. Just repeat the process. Okay, my guys, just for fun, I'm going to go ahead and add just a little more bananas to this. And I'm just going to bake for about 10 or 12 minutes, just so everything absorbs. And I am going to cover it with some aluminum foil to do so. Right. Lastly, I'm going to top it off with my sprinkles. And this is tradition. For us here, my family is from Sonora, so this is how I've always eaten it. Um, again, you're free to add in uh, the long sprinkles instead. You can add in dates, uh, pecans, whatever toppings you like to this whole trip. But I'm sure that your family will enjoy it, especially around the Quaresma time. So again, I'm just going to bake this for about mm, 10 to 15 minutes. Okay, hey, amiga, so the capirota is done. She looks something like this. So I did go ahead and bake this for 15 minutes, covered, and then another 10 uncovered. But as, as you can tell, um, it smells really good. Well, if you could smell right over the screen there. And it definitely has softened, and it's perfect to enjoy with um, champurrado, your favorite drink, coffee, whatever you would like. But you can either eat it hot or as I like it, I allow it, to, I'll allow it to cool completely and then chill it and eat it that way. But I do hope that you enjoyed this video. If you haven't already, feel free to subscribe to this growing family and turn on the notification bell 
so you don't miss in our future videos. And with that being said, I'll see you in the next one. Bye, guys.